Ghostbreakers Incorporated. You make them, we shake them. Bob Hope speaking. Yes, Paulette Goddard's a partner in this firm. What? You want me to send her around? <laughs> Listen, if I could tell Paulette what to do, I wouldn't send her to your house. Sucker. You know, I never knew there were so many ghosts roaming around loose until Paulette and I got into the ghost breakers. Believe me, the cat in the canary was a pink tea compared to this picture. It all starts on one terrible night. Basil Rathbone must be giving a party. That's the night that Paulette inherits a ghostly ancient castle off the ghost, I mean the coast of Cuba. The place is filled with mummies and spooks that walk at midnight. There are murders and death warnings planned to frighten Paulette and me, but we ain't frightened. I'll match you to see who faints first. like Miss Carter's voice. Ah, that's what they're trying to make us believe. Paulette and I are such good ghost breakers is that we don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> or do I? Together with the terror of the knowledge he had given him and the use he might make of it, panic seized him. He felt like a hunted animal, cornered, desperate. Inspector? Oh, some poor chap beat his sweetheart to death with this. Why did he do it? Well, we've never known exactly, but my belief at this moment is that she failed to answer some perfectly simple question. In that case, Inspector, I'll come to tea on Friday. Thank you, Miss Langley. Does anybody know why he commits these murders? The Rupert must have a motive, but no man alive can even guess at what it might be. And the women who could know are dead. Yours is a beauty which could destroy me. Is that a compliment? Well, it could destroy you. Have you thought of that? That's a very queer thing to say, and besides, I don't think I'm beautiful at all. I uh, take a great deal of trouble to give that impression, though. It is one thing if a woman is beautiful merely for herself. But when she exhibits the loveliness of her body upon the stage... <laughs>
together. You mean we would sell the bodies to the doctors together? To dig them up? There'll be no digging. The kirkyards are too well guarded. We will, so to speak, burk them. <laughs> I can't be sure of that. I'm sure, and I mean to report it. It's like Burke and Hare all over again. That is, grave robbing is one thing, but this is murder. You ordered this subject, received it here, and paid for it. That makes you a party to murder. You must leave this house. I can't do that. You hurt McFarlane. Save yourself, Master Fetters. Look at McFarlane. Gray, I must be rid of you. You become a cancer, a malignant, evil cancer, rotting my mind. You'll never get rid of me, darling. Out of their West Indian island comes a tale of terror and voodoo, of witchcraft and zombies, and all the weird black magic that the white man seldom sees. It is a tale of brother against brother and their love for a woman who lived with the dead. And it is also the tale of a young nurse who never believed such things could happen. Charles. to tell me that the voodoo priest could cure Mrs. Holland? Better doctors. Dambala, this woman is ill. This is the ceremony of voodoo death, a ceremony that seeks the life of the woman who lives forever, who walks with the dead. Dracula sleeps in this coffin, but rises every night at sunset. Chick is right. This is awful silly stuff. Come on, take it all out. Wow! And we are Chick! Come on! What's the matter? Come on! Wait a minute! The nation's top comics, Abbott and Costello. Petrified, but hilariously. Stop! Plus the dangerous and terrifying Wolfman, played by Lon Chaney. Plus that fiend out of a nightmare, the vampire Batman, Count Dracula, played by Bela Lugosi. Plus the most dreaded creature of them all, the Frankenstein monster, played by Glenn Strange. Plus a couple of luscious but designing females in the spookiest laugh fest on record. of the uninvited. It's coming from downstairs. It comes from everywhere and nowhere. A house of terror on the haunted cliffs of Cornwall, where the uninvited walk unseen by men. Yet a cat arches its back in fright. <coughs> Flowers are withered by the touch of an unseen malignant hand. Candles flicker and die as a ghostly chill fills the air. 
and the living are clutched by the icy horror of the restless dead. Stop, Pamela. Don't go near that door. The Uninvited, Dorothy McCardle's gripping novel of the supernatural comes to the screen, starring Ray Land, Ruth Hussey, Donald Crisp, with Cornelia Otis Skinner, and introducing the exciting beauty of Gail Russell, whose first love is shadowed by the specters of the past. Stella, what is it? Are you ill, Stella? Quiet. Leave her alone. Oregon. Oregon. Stop her, Scott. She's in a trance. I saw this happen once before at a seance. I thought it was a fake. But this isn't. I know. It's dangerous. Please get out of this house now. Now lie there quietly. I'm not afraid of anything here. Then be afraid. Be afraid for heaven's sake. When you were a little child, the evils of this house reached out for you. Stella, go! Go! One day, Everington was thrown by his horse, which then rolled on him. His spine was injured, and he was never again able to do more than drag himself a few paces from this bed. How dreadful. Yes. Unfortunately, the effects of such constraint on a man of his enormous energy was more than his mind could endure. He became morose, embittered, suspicious. Above all, of his wife, quite without reason, he began accusing the poor lady of betraying him with his friend. With his servants. Had she not been so devoted to him, she certainly would have left him, and indeed it would have been better for her had she done so. For one day, in an access of across the centuries comes this exciting story of a modern girl cursed by an ancient legend. The legend of the cat people. Women whose kiss means death, whose love turns them into vicious, snarling beasts of prey. Twice I've been followed by something that was not human, something that attempted to take my life. I believe that was the cat form of Irena. Why should she wish to harm you? Because I'm in love with her husband. It's shut now. Just a minute ago, it was open. It's locked. Leave us, Serena. <laughs> Bitten by a werewolf and lives, becomes a werewolf himself. Oh, don't hand me that. You're just wasting your time. The wolf bit you, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he did. You wouldn't want to run away with a murderer, would you? Oh, Larry, you're not. You know you're not. I killed Bela. I killed Richardson. If I stay here any longer, you can't tell who'll be next. 